Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have so many exciting things to start with. First off, I'm doing another what I eat in a week. I uploaded one a few weeks ago and you guys seem to really like it and I said I'm gonna try to do one once a month. So I'm still gonna be trying to continue with that. Let me know if that's something you guys would like. Um, I don't know, I think they're very fun and I know they're helpful so I think I'm gonna keep doing them. But with that being said, if you happen to watch my last one, you would know that I broke my camera at the end of the week. Um, I left it on my bed with a water bottle that I thought was closed. It was in fact not closed. Water was stuck in the lens. Sadly, it was a fully functional camera. There was just a couple water droplets in the lens. I took it to multiple camera stores and there was nothing that could be done. That was very tragic, but I couldn't go without a vlogging camera, so I did have to buy a new one, which, you know, was good and bad. I've been wanting to upgrade and I think this upgrade will help my videos and step them up a bit. However, I wish I could have planned a little bit more to be, you know, financially ready to upgrade, but it's fine. I guess it was time. So I have a new camera. I hope you guys can notice at least a little bit of a difference. But with that being said, I think I'm going to get started into what a vegan 19 year old living in Los Angeles eats in a week. It is currently, I don't even know, Tuesday? It's currently a Tuesday. Um, I think I started my last what I eat in a week on a Wednesday, maybe a Tuesday. I don't know. Either way, I always start them on random days, but we're starting on a Tuesday today. And I am going to be making a breakfast. Um, I'm gonna be making a variation of the same meal that I've eaten for the past six months. You've probably seen it before. I just am not getting bored of it. With that being said, I'm gonna to try to minimize the amount of times that I eat this in this video because I wanna give you guys different ideas. Um, but it's going to be hash brown patties with tofu scramble, avocado, and chili crunch oil. So I already have some mushrooms, red onions, and tomatoes chopped up here. And I'm going to saute these Probably with some garlic I'm gonna get from my freezer. I have some tofu, I'm going to make a tofu scramble. And then I'm going to use just my normal toaster right here. Put in two of the hash brown patties. I always have them go through the toaster three cycles so they're actually crispy. And then yeah, so let's get started on that. It's a very simple meal, but it is so tasty. So that's why I make it all the time. First in the pan is gonna be some olive oil. Then I'm gonna add some garlic that I just chopped up. It maybe is not the prettiest meal you've ever seen, but I promise you, if you want to try anything I've ever posted, please try something like this. It is so good. I also put on Fly by Jing Zong sauce. You probably are not surprised. I use those sauces on everything I eat, but I'm going to enjoy this now. It is kind of intense. I don't know how I've eaten this for six months, and every single day I'm still just as excited. It's just so good. Okay, see you guys at lunchtime. Sorry for the lighting, it's a little bit 
a weird time. The sun has just set and I have a lamp on over there. It's a little orange, but oh well. I have dinner and I made a burrito bowl. It is a base of half romaine lettuce, half rice and beans, pickled onions, tomato, broccoli slaw, garlic, sauerkraut, a ton of guac, and some of the same garlic dip that I ate earlier. And I'm going to be eating this with some chips. I just baked big cordon tortillas into chips. I'm gonna be eating it like this. Mm. And it'll be adding on nutritional yeast to it. Good morning, it is the next day and I had plans to make a smoothie bowl. I just was thinking I was gonna make a smoothie bowl all of last night and all of this morning. And then out of nowhere, I just really, really, really wanted pancakes. So I'm making pancakes. Um, I'm using this own pancake and waffle mix. I'm gonna be cutting the recipe or the in measurements in half because I think it makes three to four. It says makes, oh, makes four to five pancakes. And I won't eat four to five pancakes. So I'll just make two to three. So I just put in the pancake mix. Um, I'm going to be adding a flax egg, some vegetable oil, and some macadamia nut milk. Okay, now that my batter is all done, I'm just gonna cook it on the stove. Um, right over here, I'm gonna add on some vegan butter, maple syrup, and peanut butter. So here is breakfast. Um, I've made waffles with this mix a lot and they turn out really well. The pancakes look a little questionable. I also didn't get a knife, which would probably help, but I feel like with maple syrup and vegan butter, they have to still taste good. And they do. The mix is gluten-free, so that's probably why it's not the best, but it's still tasty. It's not like amazing fluffy pancakes, but oh well. But I'm actually going home to visit my family in Long Beach today, just for tonight, so for my next few meals, I'm gonna be not here. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm driving home. So we'll see you all there. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. I'm just eating a weird lunch today. I made it home and I ate a bunch of the Stacy's pita chips and bitchin sauce and pickles. You saw that earlier. And then I just went to grocery outlets to get food for dinner. But every time I go to grocery outlet, I always find things that probably are not needed, but they're fun. So I picked a few things up and I'm gonna taste them all because I'm impatient. So first I found these vegan white cheddar cheese wheels. I don't know what they're made out of. Coconut oil based and modified potato starch. So I'm gonna try one of these with this pita chips again. It's pretty good. I give these a thumbs up. I'm gonna eat this with some more chips and then, I already tried these, sorry, but I got these Scandi Fish gummies. When you open the bag, it smells so strong of maraschino cherries. I am not a fan of, so I thought I was not gonna like them, but there's three different flavors. There's a white, a dark pink, and a light pink. I like the light pink one. The other two are okay, but I ate a handful of those. And then the last part of my weird lunch thing is I got a papaya. So I'm gonna eat half a papaya at least right now. That's kind of my weird lunch, but dinner will be a full meal. So I'll see you then. Good morning, it is now like 9 30 a.m. and I actually just got back from getting my blood drawn and I didn't faint which if you know me that's a really big deal because I have hemophobia pass out at anything related to blood bodies um, I can't control it um, I wish I could change it but I can't anyways I didn't faint this time so we're going to blue bowl which is my favorite acai spot to celebrate so let's go
Carmen and I am uploading a video currently so I gotta make lunch but I wanted to be a little quick so I'm gonna make some lentil tofu mushroom tacos I don't really know I'm just kind of gonna wing it um I have this big bag of lentils from they're like the ones from Trader Joe's I just put them in a reusable Ziploc bag I have a tiny little block of tofu left some mushrooms I have one tomato corn tortillas I have some pickled onions some chipotle bitchin sauce I don't know, we're gonna put those all in tortilla shells and call it a day. plant power fast food if you have heard of it it is a vegan fast food chain probably self-explanatory but they have a few locations throughout Orange County one in Long Beach but they just opened one up in Hollywood and I haven't been and it is pretty close to me so we're driving over there now to get dinner and I'm very excited. It is very good. I ordered the icon the iconic fries, which is supposed to be like an animal style fry, which I have never had animal style fries or even a vegan version of it. So French fries, cheese, caramelized onions, and some special sauce. And then I got a fish filet sandwich. So I'm very excited. Let's do a taste test of the fries though. Look at that. <laughs> it's Wait, this wow. <gasps> With the onion rings. So the only thing it needs pickles. Ah, uh, I do agree. a.m. and food today is gonna be a little weird and I'm not gonna film everything because his birthday is tomorrow. What? So I surprised him with a... You should do it on your phone at least. Like a little clip of... Um, oh, I will, I will. Okay, good. Um, a scavenger hunt picnic. So basically, this is not sponsored, but it's from the website <laughs> Amazing Co. And you have to... It's like all these scavenger hunt clues this is throughout Santa Monica and Venice, and for each stop, we collect a different part of our picnic. So right now, we're onto a place, and we're gonna get, it's a zero waste restaurant. We're gonna get a fruit salad, 
bruschetta on rye, <laughs> Mediterranean salad, no cheese, and then an almond milk cappuccino, which he'll drink. That sounds delicious. Okay, so we're gonna be walking around Santa Monica and Venice Our collecting body politics. A show. Sorry. Collecting food for our scavenger hunt. And yeah, I don't, it's a 6.4 mile round trip thing. So I will not be taking my camera, I don't think. But you should take your phone and take pictures of everything. So you guys should follow her on Instagram because then you could go see what we did. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about. I do. Okay. Goodbye. picnic and it was so much fun we had a cheese board keep in mind like half of this was vegan and half of it was not because it was catered to half vegan half not of course I only ate the vegan thing self-explanatory but there was a cheese board with some really good vegan cheddar amazing super good bread croissants oh my, there were chia croissants so good ginger turmeric lemonade a fruit salad mediterranean salad bruschetta i think that was it for the vegan stuff i might be forgetting something but either way it was such a fun experience this is not at all sponsored they have no idea who i am but if you're interested and you live in southern california there's like a bunch of different locations you could do that i would recommend i thought it was fun so i'll put the link of the um website down below if any of you want to check it out so that was lunch it was just a really late lunch at like we didn't end up eating until like three but super good. I just completely forgot that I was filming what I ate in a week and started eating a bunch of food, so. You're fine. Sorry. Um, but what have I eaten? I have leftovers from yesterday. I ate already a whole croissant, a bunch of this vegan cheese, a more of the salad, two pickles, more bread. So. Yeah, basically I was just eating a lot of bread and vegan cheese and vegetables, but I forgot. Sorry I haven't been like vlog like talking a whole lot the past couple days. It's just because it was Will's birthday so we were like out doing stuff all the time with people and I just didn't feel like I really want to take out the camera. So that's why but I'll be back to that normal tomorrow. Anyways it is now 11 p.m. and I'm having a snack. We went to dinner. I don't know if I can call it dinner. Our meal was at like 4 p.m. So I ate half the pizza there but then we came back we had ice cream. I ate some jelly beans too. Um, but now I already ate one of the pieces like 15 minutes ago and I'm eating another piece of pizza and some popcorn and I think we're gonna order Taco Bell too which has been a theme recently <laughs> good morning so I'm finally back home which means I can make a smoothie bowl so I'm gonna be making a smoothie bowl for breakfast today I'm gonna make a strawberry smoothie bowl so I'm gonna start out with frozen bananas, of course, because they need to be the base of every good smoothie bowl, in my opinion. And then I have a same big bag of frozen strawberries, so I'm gonna add a handful of those in. Here I have some unsweetened cashew yogurt from Trader Joe's. And then the last couple things are just gonna be some ground flax seeds. Strawberry protein. And then lastly, some vanilla uh, macadamia milk. And then I'll blend this and that'll be breakfast. Okay, so breakfast is done. Just a strawberry smoothie bowl. Very simple and basic. I think I'm gonna add some pumpkin flax granola like as I eat, but I wanted a quick and easy breakfast today, so. Super good though. I might be going to a sandwich shop for lunch, but it's still up in the air. So if that's the case, of course, you'll be seeing that later. And I'll explain a little bit more about the sandwich shop and like what I'm getting and stuff, so. If that's the case, see you at the sandwich shop. If not, I'll see you back in my kitchen.